This was me 16 years ago. Well, good morning, everyone. It's Silvestro, known as the Weight Loss King. And for those who don't know of me, I help women lose weight for the very last time. I myself have lost 80 kilos 16 years ago when I had my moment of truth and I knew that I was ready to lose weight for the very last time. And welcome to Let's Chat, which is episode seven, Things Are Going So Quickly. And it's Monday here in Sydney, Australia, and we always have our motivational Mondays and how do we start the week in the right direction? And I'm just thinking back when I was losing weight myself and what was Mondays like? And I used to dread Mondays. Mondays were a day <clears throat> where you would just, I would just punish myself for the weekend I just had. Now you dread Mondays thinking, okay, this is it. I'm going to go on another diet and I'm going to stick to the diet. And, and you have all the right intentions to, to make amends of what happened over the weekend, if you over ate or, or whatever the case may be. I think we all strive to have the intention to really make sure that this time it's it. This is the time that we are going to finally stick and change our lifestyle and, and not go back to our old habits, habits and start to create new habits and start behaving and making better choices and being prepared and being organized. And that's it, we're gonna make it happen. But for some reason, we fall back into that rut and, and, and by Tuesday or Wednesday, we haven't stuck to our promise. So when we are going to lose weight for the very last time, it's all about sticking to our promise, sticking to our word, our integrity, that we are going to lose weight for the very last time. Now, if you've been on this weight loss merry-go-round, up and down, up and down, you really need to stop. I mean, stop. <laughs> and if you love this video, you love my, all my other videos, and I'll put some links um, down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, even though this is a live Facebook video, which is on my group. I do upload them to my YouTube channel. So please subscribe and like them. And I'm all about losing weight for the very last time. I'm very passionate about helping people to finally get off the roller coaster, off the merry-go-round off the dreaded Mondays where we want to pick things up. And so let's work on that. Let's work on the motivation because motivation is made up of, of action because action creates momentum and momentum creates the feeling that I call being inspired, like inspiration. And start today is doing just one thing that you can and will to make a change. That's as practical advice I can really think of. Is that's is that one what can you do today that one small step, that one small action that you can take today that will give you the momentum to keep on moving forward. <clears throat> so let's go back to this Monday. You're dreading Mondays. And we need to work on that moment where you feel inspired, that you have this get up and go saying, I'm going to do it. So you need to set yourself up that the benefits of losing weight for the very last time, there are plenty out there. There are plenty health benefits of losing weight for the very last time. There are plenty financial benefits of losing weight for the very last time. There are plenty emotional benefits of losing weight for the very last time. 
There are lots of benefits of losing weight for a very last time. So why do we fall into the trap that we go back onto merry-go-round? So we need to really stop and look at the reasons why we, we fall back. You know, we, 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 we go back into those bad habits and routines and we need to stop. So let's look about, I'm gonna give you some tips today on losing weight for the very last time. And my first tip, my number one tip, or not my number one, but one of a few tips I'm giving you today of losing weight for the very last time is go slow and go steady. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. I'll keep on using this cliche because it's true. For example, I'm experiencing this right now. Well, not experiencing losing weight for the very last time, but it's the same thing. A goal is a goal. Losing weight or, or building up my profile, it still goes slow and goes steady. So I'm in the midst of growing and building my YouTube channel. And I'm coming across the same setbacks, the same hurdles when I was losing weight. I mean, I'm, I'm putting all this effort into it and time and resources, and I'm not getting the result, results as quick enough. They're not coming fast. So by not getting the results, by not getting what I want, does that give me permission to stop? Hmm, let me think. There's times I do want to stop. I'm thinking, well, I'm just tired. Like I'm really at times physically tired and putting all this effort and time and uploading videos and stuff. But, and then I get this, this one little comment or extra views or someone says subscribed. So it's like weight loss going slow and going steady. It doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you can see these little snippets, I call them, of, oh, I got that. You know, exactly what Lisa just said, helping one or two people is worth it. So that's what you keep on going, knowing that someone out there that can benefit from what you are talking about. And that's what's really, really important. So going slow and going steady. It may take you longer to get there, but what happens is that, and the whole beautiful part about losing weight for the very last time or achieving any goals, is really understanding the processes. And you really understand about yourself. You understand of your makeup and you understand who you are. And by understanding who you are, then you know yourself better than anyone else. And you know those triggers and you know those moments where you want to just throw the towel in. I don't have the towel here, but you just want to throw the towel and quit and stop. And I think that Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, Leanne, uh, Lisa. Yeah, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Um, I'm glad that you know, I'm lucky to have supporters as well. And, and that's really known that. And, and what you've just said to me then is, is really touching. It's like, and it's brought me back down to earth as well. It, it's known that just by happen one person and or, or, two, or whatever the case may be that you know that you've helped them to get to the, to the end goal and achieve what you want to get to. So thank you so much. I really love your support. And, and actually when I say going slow and going steady is, is my number one, is the, is number, tip number one in losing weight for the very last time. Tip number two, in losing weight for the very last time so you don't wake up on a Monday and dread going on another diet because if you don't want to do that, is keep a journal. Boom. Keep a journal. Now, the journal is where you are able to write things down. Thank you, Leanne. And, and 
by keeping a journal, you write everything down. You keep a track. You see your progress. And by writing things down, you can see what you've eaten for that day. You can see how you moved that day. You can see how you're thinking and the people around you because the people around you, they shape your mind. I mean, if you're gonna hang around the people who are just putting you down or being very negative and not really um, supporting your cause, then you need to get rid of that. You need to change your environment. So these, by keeping a journal, by writing things down, really helps you understand those days when you're having a good day or when you're not having such a good day. So you can go back and you can say, well, you know what, Monday, I had a really good day. I, 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 f I felt really good about myself and I, I felt more energized and my, my body was moving in a really good direction. And so you go to your, you go to your weight loss journal which I have here, Losing Weight for the Very Last Time, the Weight Loss Planner, which you can download. I'll put a link down in the description where you can download your free 150 page planner, which I put together for you. Okay, I don't sell it, it is a free planner. And, 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 and this planner has where you can, you can basically log all your information, um, what you're eating, but what it does, okay, besides all that sort of stuff, because if we try and keep a journal up in here, it will get lost and if there's too much stuff in here, then we can't put much more stuff in here at all. So we need to write it down because by writing things down, it gives you more accountability and it's real. Like it's, it's pen to paper. When I started my weight loss journey for the very last time, 16 years ago, April in 2000 and and two, the first thing I started to do was to write things down. So I just got a, back then I had no plan or no journal. I just had a book, a plain white notepad. <laughs> um, and I just wrote things down. Monday, bang, Tuesday. So that's how I came about in writing the book, If I Can, You Can. That all came from my journal. And all the ideas came from my journal because I couldn't really remember what happened, um, you know, six months ago on that Monday, what I ate for lunch. There's, there was no way I could, that I could remember that. So by having a journal, it's really, really important because you will discover and you will be, uh, you understand a lot better what you're going through. So that's tip number two is keeping a journal. Number three is give yourself a break. Give yourself a break from social media. Give yourself a break from saying yes to everyone else. Okay? Give yourself a break because even from eating salads or, or just give yourself a break from all of that. So what we need to do, there are so many ways you can make food, you can make exercise, you can make having your own company your own company, feeling comfortable in your own skin. All about you, because that's what we're talking about. So tip number three is giving yourself a break from everything and everything around you so you can clear your head, because you really don't want any other distractions. When it comes to losing weight for the very last time, turn the phone off, turn the TV off. Um, when you eat, don't eat in front of the TV. Sit down on the, on the sit on a, on a chair, I say sit on a table. <laughs> sit on a chair, put your food on a plate and, and sit at a table. Um, so I call that the, the three essentials when it comes to eating, is having a table, a chair and a plate. No distractions, turn off your phone, turn off the, off the TV. That's gonna really help you just focus what's in front of you. Instead of focusing on what's around you and what's, just focus on you. You need to, you need that. Tip number four, when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, is find something that you will stick to. 
Because if you do something that you don't like, then you're not going to stick to it. You're going to give up because it's going to be hard work. I mean, hard work, but it's not going to be nice. Like, um, you're not going to enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy something, then you're not going to stick to it. So find something that you will stick to, commit to, fall in love with when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. So if someone has told you that by eating rice, broccoli and chicken seven days a week, it's gonna help you lose weight for the very last time and you can stick to it for the rest of your life and incorporate it in your lifestyle, go for it, do it. If you find that sustainable, then you're gonna to stick to it that's great. So by deciding, if, if, if a planner helps you, by writing things down in your journal, it's gonna help you lose weight for the very last time and keep you accountable, stick to it. If by having a mentor or a life coach or someone or that's gonna keep you accountable on a regular basis, stick to it. Whatever the case may be, if there's someone on YouTube, if there's someone that you aspire to, that's gonna help you stick to it. We are all unique and different. So what may work for someone else doesn't necessarily will work for you because you might not like certain things about it. So you feel that you might not stick to it. Find something that you love. I mean, you love <laughs> to do all the time. I'm just gonna have a glass of water. <laughs> I haven't been drinking. Mondays for me is how I start first thing. The, the way I wake up in the morning and I, I go for my run or do my exercise is what brings me this natural get up and go. So, just want to share it with you quickly. Click up here for the motivational um, video that will help you move as well. My last tip when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, and this is a really important one. I think this is a deal breaker. Whether or not you lose weight for the very last time, because this is very important in the beginning of losing weight for the very last time. And that number five tip, and may I get a drum roll please? Drum roll. I look like it's me. <laughs> Manage your expectations. Right? Manage your expectations. Because what I mean by manage your expectations, it all works together. Go on slow and steady and fine tuning and adjusting your expectations along the way. For example, <laughs> thanks Leanne. For example, if your expectations is to lose weight for the very last time and your expectations to get there is to lose half a kilo or one kilo per week, that's your expectations. Now, are those expectations realistic? Yes. Losing half a kilo a week to me is a good expectations. And what is your plan to get there? What is your plan to lose that half a kilo per week? Because you have told you ex yourself that you expect to lose it. So what is your plan behind it? Write it in your journal, going slow and steady, making sure you've got food at home so you don't make bad decisions. When you go grocery shopping, don't go when you're hungry. Avoid the middle shopping aisles because that's where the bad foods are. 
writing things down as you go along. So it's all about managing expectations and making sure that you've got everything behind that that's gonna help it. Because if your expectations are unrealistic and you're not achieving those expectations, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? Because you're gonna say it's all or nothing. You're gonna stop, you're gonna quit. Because you can say, well, I didn't lose five kilos this week um, because I watched that show on TV and they were losing five kilos per week, so I should be able to lose it as well. That's what happens. <laughs> You've got to make it realistic and you need to manage it. Yes, along the way of losing weight for the very last time, what you might have wanted to do in the first week or two weeks or three weeks, your expectations might be a bit too high. So you just need to make adjustments. And adjustments are great. It's fine tuning. I love motorsports. I'm a big F1 fan. And I love the whole motor, motorsports. And when it comes to the cars that they drive, they go out on day one and they do the practice runs. And they try different tyres and they try and they, and they fine tune the car. It might take them one or two days or to fine tune the car, the right tyres, the right, um, the engine, the suspension. I know it's a lot of boy talk here, sorry, but I'm just trying to talk about something that's related. And, and V8s, yes, the end, love, love the V8s. The, it's all about fine tuning. It's all about, okay, that's the track, that's the lap. I wanna go around there the fastest way, the quickest way. So they need to fine tune their cars and make adjustments so they make that perfect lap. It's like losing weight for the very last time. As you're losing weight for the very last time, you're gonna start, okay? Yeah, I love the motivation, the inspiration. I wanna start losing weight, that's it. I wanna get rid of it and you will. So you start, and your expectations, I wanna train five days a week for one hour, I'm gonna have salads every day, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, boom. That's great, okay? But along the way, you need to fine tune that, you need to adjust that, because you wanna you just do this for one lap, or two laps. You wanna do this for the rest of your life. Lap after lap after lap after lap. Fine tuning, adjusting, and, and doing this. Up. In, in Australia, we have Bathurst, right? It's uh, 1,000 kilometers. It's an endure, endurance racing. So they set the cars up. They adjust the cars. Not to go the, for the fastest lap, but they make their car go the whole distance of 1,000 kilometers. So it lasts the 1,000 kilometers. It's a marathon, not a sprint race. If it's a sprint race, they set the car up so it goes the quickest, fastest for that one lap when they do the qualifying. When it comes to losing weight for the very last time, when we don't wanna do qualifying laps. We want to do the endurance laps. We want to find the tune our body because we want the race we want to last forever. That's our lifestyle. We need to fall in love with the lifestyle that we are going to adapt for the rest of our lives. Losing weight for the very last time, that's what it comes down to. So there are my five tips. And losing weight for the very last time is to go slow and steady endurance, appreciating the processes. When I was losing weight for the very last time, my mind, my body, they had to adjust. They had to catch up to each other and work together. So if I was going too fast, if my mind was going too fast, my body wasn't really keeping up. If my body was going too fast, then my mind wasn't really keeping up. So I had to make sure that they were in Synchronization, together, in sync, slow and steady. Enjoy it, enjoy the journey. Q 
Keep a journal, write things down. Keep a track, keep accountable and have all this data so you can go back and say, well, wow, last Wednesday, I felt fantastic. What was that? I had this, I did this, I was thinking this, great. I'm gonna do the exactly same thing so I can feel great again. <clears throat> Three, give yourself a break. Give yourself a break from the media, people, information, and focus on you. Tip number four, find something that you'll stick to. Find an exercise that you'll stick to. Find food that you'll stick to. Find people, an environment that you'll stick to. Find something that you will love, you'll fall in love with, and you'll do with no effort, with, with, with no hatred, because you'll love it, okay? And finally, the last tip is recapping, I'll put all these down in the resources, is manage your expectations. Making sure that what you have set yourself up to do, that you can stick to it, not just for the one fast qualifying lap, but lap after lap, endurance for the rest of your life. Losing weight for the very last time. No one else teaches you that. The weight loss industry won't teach you that. The only person out there that's gonna teach you, that's gonna share with you and give you all the benefits about losing weight for the very last time is me, the weight loss king. I'm sorry, I've done my research, I've looked out there, and nobody else wants to teach anyone about losing weight for the very last time because it's not profitable. It's not gonna make them money. They're not gonna get you coming back after time, after time, after time and rely on them. I'm the only person out there that talks about losing weight for the very last time because I want you to have the same feelings and I want you to wake up on a Monday morning, heavy coffee of course, but I want you to wake up on the Monday morning and not dread about going on another diet and punishing yourself and putting yourself through that unnecessary emotional crap. Okay, I won't swear because that's not my style. Okay, I don't want you to do that. I did that for 25 years and I felt like crap. <laughs> All right, so these are my five tips. I will put them down in the description, all my links there as well, with my videos, please subscribe, please tell your friends that I'm the only person out there when it comes to helping people losing weight for the very last time. I do on a regular basis, I upload lots of videos, lots of recipes, lots of workouts. I'm the real deal, I'm the complete package. I've been through it, I've done it, I've seen it, and the reason why I do what I do because I am passionate about helping people to lose weight for the very last time so you can live your best life, so you can tick off all those things in your bucket list that you want to achieve because life is about experiences. It's all about enjoying while we're here, so why waste any more time and give any unnecessary money in emotions of losing weight and let's get on with life and let's move forward in a direction that you will lose weight for the very last, single, final, that's it, time. Once again, thank you so much. I really, I am really humbled with support out there from my followers, I appreciate it. It's, it's you, my audience, that keeps me going when it comes to promoting and pushing and sharing about losing weight for the very last time. So I hope that you can take away this message about losing weight for the very last time, my five tips. Once again, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, Thank you for your comments and I look forward in talking with you very shortly on my next um, video, which will be on Wednesday on Let's Cook and I will be posting my recipe, uh, what we'll be cooking today. So look out for that one there, it's summer. So it's gonna be a summer feel to it. 
Okay, once again, thank you for watching Let's Chat. I'm Silvestro, known as the Weight Loss King, helping women lose weight for the very final last time. Thank you. Follow me at weightlossking.com.au and together we can transform your life into your best life ever.